hello guys thanks for clicking so this british millionaire shocks everyone and accepts islam wow let's check it out Ashhadu. Ashhadu. An la ilaha from a Christian refugee traveler to a Muslim millionaire wow. this is a story of Alfie Best Jr. and it's indeed it's a like very interesting very one simple. Alfie Best Jr. is the son of Alfie William Best the first ever gypsy traveler to reach the status of a billionaire in the UK hmm. Alfie William Best was born into a poor romantical family he lived in a caravan and went to school up until the age of 12. And at 14 years of age, he started buying and selling cars and vans. His first business eventually closed down. He then tried his luck with a mobile phone shop business. And soon, he had 13 stores all together. After that, he sold that business and moved into property investing. He is now known for his success in the mobile home industry and has been in the media due to his business dealings and extravagant lifestyle. Mm. The gypsy and traveler communities have a long history of poverty and marginalization. They have faced discrimination in countries like the UK and USA. Mm. Due to their nomadic and itinerant lifestyle, these people don't have much stability in their lives. Mm. They don't always have access to education and employment opportunities. Mm. A lot of them earn their livelihoods through trading and horse dealings. These people can get trapped in a vicious cycle of poverty, which leads to generations after generations living in deprived condition. But Alfie William Best was one of the very few gypsies who have worked hard and dragged himself and his family out of this poverty trap. Oh. But today's video is not about Alfie William okay. Best, but about his son, oh, Alfie Best Jr., like. who just like his father, has now set up various businesses and has also achieved that status of a millionaire. Mm. And Alfie Best Jr. has also recently said the Shahada and entered the fold of Islam. Alhamdulillah. Mm -hmm. Revert stories are very inspiring and give a boost to our faith. And Alfie's story is not different. In a recent podcast, Alfie has talked about what led him to Islam. He believes that he is probably the first gypsy traveler to revert. As a businessman, someone who works all the time, Alfie said that he would go through a lot of stress. He would always have things going on in his mind. He was always looking for something that would provide him relief and relaxation. One day, he was out with his friends on his dad's helicopter. One of his friends had to go to the mosque with his mother, hmm. who wanted to take her shahada. Alfie says that he decided to accompany them as he had always been curious about the religion. He explains how the minute he walked into the mosque, he felt immediate peace. Mm. He felt like he had finally discovered what he always found missing in him. He describes that every hair on his body was standing up, mm. and he had never felt that kind of a sensation anywhere. The ambience of the mosque, the adhan, and the peace and tranquility he observed really moved him. Mm. This experience ignited a desire in his heart to explore Islam further. Alfie wanted to explore Islam more, so he went to the Imam and asked him for a Quran. Alfie is not very literate, but he read some parts and understood them. Mm. He says that the parts that he didn't understand, he kept on reading them again and again. The Quran spoke to Alfie and touched his heart. It contained excellent life guidance and included morals that could help him. He believes that Qur'an is the only divine source mm. which hasn't been tampered with. He spoke against how Muslims are stereotyped as terrorists, which is wrong, as according to the Qur'an, taking even one life is not permissible. So a true Muslim could never be a terrorist. Alfie's still learning how to pray. He says that since Arabic is a bit hard, it is taking him some time to learn, mm. so it's hard for him to pray alone. Mm. But he regularly goes to the mosque on Fridays. Mm -mm. He's trying his best to keep up with all his prayers. He further explained that now that he offers his prayers, he instantly feels a sense of relief. 
He feels like the weight has been lifted off his shoulders. He said that since he has taken the shahada, mm. he hasn't had alcohol, which is prohibited in Islam. <laughs> and he agrees that this prohibition makes so much sense mm. as alcohol is not good for the yes, health. He also to. says how alcohol affects his productivity. And whenever he used to spend long nights out drinking and partying for the next couple of days, he would feel hungover, mm. which would affect his efficiency at work. Ever since he stopped drinking because of Islam, he also feels like there is no more peer pressure on him anymore, as none of his friends forced him to drink, as they know it is prohibited. Alfie Jr. did not grow up in poverty, but he didn't have the lifestyle that he has now. Mm. His father did not spoil them or give them whatever he wanted. He had to work hard and make his own money ever since he was 12. But having a rich father hasn't held him back from working hard. He does agree that his father's money and contacts gave him a solid foundation, but he still has to get out of the house and make money every single day. If he doesn't earn it, he doesn't get to spend it. He prides himself in having a good eye for opportunities and knows how to best use them. He talks about how he used to sell sweets in his school to make money. He had actually seen other children doing that, but then he took that idea to the next level and sold sweets that he bought much cheaper from a cash and carry, thus undercutting the price of the other children. He said he made around 100 pounds every day, and since that time, he started saving. Just like his father, he left school at 12 and bought a van and hired a driver and started to sell industrial goods to restaurants. His father would support him by giving him advice and contacts. From then, he started arranging parties for traveler, as they were not allowed to mingle with others in the usual place due to discrimination. The owner of the venue, where he used to host these traveler parties, then approached him and asked him if he wanted to buy the place. Alfie Jr. did end up buying that place, and at 16 years of age, he was the owner of a nightclub. That business was hard, but Alfie says it taught him invaluable expertise. Alfie, at the minute, is in the wristwatch business. Revert stories, especially if they're about someone rich or famous, can be very boosting for our Iman. If someone who already has money, fame, and power can find peace in our religion, and a connection with the Qur'an, then it serves as a proof that our religion is indeed the absolute truth. Wow, truly, truly, this guy is a millionaire. Like, just imagine the procession he has acquired, the things he has gotten for himself, even though his father is a millionaire, he still has his own wealth. Even some other people don't want to rely on their you know, parent property. So even with all this wealth, it's still humble. See, like even his dressing sometimes is very simple. A lot of father, he took the bold step to you know know God, go closer to God, serve Him because in this life, if you gather the whole world and you don't have God, then you don't have nothing on this earth because God supersedes any other thing on this earth, money, property, anything you are acquiring on this earth, don't forget to involve God. That's the reason why I love Father. He took the step. The religion he converted to doesn't matter because he said he was once a Christian, but I'm sure he was not a devoted Christian. I'm sure maybe, you know, he's a Christian, but he does, maybe he doesn't go to church. He doesn't, you know, read the Bible and the rest. So now that he, he converted to Islam, you know, he has started understanding the religion, praying. You could hear him saying that the first time he entered the masjid, he found peace because he just found something different about praying in Islam. He was connected. He has never for once gone through that or felt that way. And this, this was beautiful one, beautiful. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.